Hey guys, Ocraft78 here with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best hacks for Pokemon Go. So as you can see, my character is level 21. This is my second account because I didn't want my first one to get banned just in case. So you're probably wondering why I'm not part of a team. Actually, because I haven't done anything. Um, I'm level 21. I have 80 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Um, here's my top guys. And you're probably wondering how I got this without doing anything. Well, that's what this hack is. So basically, it's a walking bot hack. So you just set a location, and the bot will walk around for you and collect Pokestops, hatch your eggs, catch every Pokemon in sight. And it's just a crazy hack. And so you don't even, you really don't even need to play the game. So it kind of does wreck the purpose of the game, except it's good if you want to just troll your friends like oh look at all these cool guys I got like just just like a brag account basically so yeah I will get into showing you how the hack works now alright so in the description below I will have a link to this WinRAR file and basically you just want to download that make a new folder call it Pokemon Go hack Pokemon Go whatever whatever you want to name it and then you're just gonna right click on this and extract here so the reason you want to make a file is or else all this crap will be put on your desktop and you don't want that so now you're gonna want to look for Pokemon Go dot rocket API dot console I've actually renamed it and put a one just so it appears at the top of the list so then you want to double click that that and it will launch this. So I have my Gmail blurred out just so you guys can't see my email. So you just sign into your account there so it has access to your account. Don't worry, um, this won't like steal your Google account or whatever if you're afraid of that. That's kind of why I use the second email just so I don't have to worry about that and I don't have to get worry about getting banned on my main account. So down here you have the location settings so you can set your location to wherever you want. I actually have a spot right here in Australia so I have a chance to catch the um, rare kangaroo Pokemon so I can brag to my friends that I have it or whatever. So yeah, you can set your location anywhere just by hitting that button. You don't have to worry about teleporting because this hack has an automatic unban feature, which is great. So down here you have your speed. So this is the speed that your character will move at when he's walking around. So basically what this um, hack does is it puts a bot in that location and it will just walk within this radius. So this is just a big circle. So I have 15,000 meters. So he walks like a big circle of the area. So he probably walks like all of this area and so he'll catch every Pokemon that you want and so yeah um, and then start walk from default location so that will be where you set your location you don't have to worry about these telegram settings I'm not too sure what they do um, so now there's all these other settings you can check to use a lucky egg every time you evolve I'm not too sure what German Pokemon names are you can use incense You can use Incent every 30 minutes. Um, I have that disabled just so I don't lose all mine. Um, evolve Pokemon if enough candy. Enable Pokemon list GUI. Definitely have this enabled. It helps out a lot with the hack. Um, keep Pokemon Pokemons which can be evolved. I just keep that. Use Lucky Egg if not running. Um, I'd leave that un unchecked. Use Raspberry if chance is under 35. So you can change this to whatever. Um, you want so this will only use a raspberry if the Pokemon has a 35% chance of being caught. Um, auto incubate and use basic incubators so that just incubates all the eggs that you get. And then you can pick your device here. Um, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I guess if you have a Pokemon account linked to a certain phone, maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know why they have the color here. I don't think that really matters. So I just have mine set to an S7 Edge. Uh, doesn't matter. So now up here you want to go to Pokemon. So now this list is all the Pokemon that it won't transfer. So I just have all the rare ones checked. Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, um, Ninetales. All these rare Pokemon or um, Stage 2s. Pokemon not to catch. So I have Caterpies, Weedles, Pidgeys, Rattatas, um, Sparrows all that stuff just because they're a waste of pokeballs really and then pokemon to evolve so you can have all of these checks so it will evolve all of these auto transfer double pokemon will make sure that you only have one of each pokemon so it auto automatically transfers all your doubles 
um, and this makes it transfer the lowest um, CP Pokemon right here you just change this so it won't transfer any Pokemon that are above this CP level next we have items so now you just select how much of each item you want so obviously I don't use this account for gym battles or anything so I just got I just put zero for revives top revives potions super potions hyper potions top potions because I I don't fight in gym so I really don't need that um, master balls you don't have to worry about this because they're not in the game yet so then you just have all these so this bot actually does collect pokestops for you which is great so you just have this running if you um, are running low on pokeballs which is pretty good so then proxies you can use this if you want to have this running while it's on your phone so I'll just explain this quickly don't have this hack running while you're on your phone playing Pokemon Go because it will really mess it up and you'll get IP banned and you don't want that so once you have everything done you're just gonna hit save configuration start bot and then this these two menus pop up this is the GUI that we selected so now I will just bring these out so I'll try and explain the console quickly just so you guys have an understanding so um here's the player stats so this is your level 21 um, that's how close you are to leveling up so I'm 73 percent uh, Pokestops visited I've already visited 2,000 Pokestops and I've hardly even played this game I haven't even played it this is just the bot I've walked 35 kilometers um, there's all your egg information I just broke it. Um, zero evolved. It's annoying because it keeps moving. So, and then it tells you your Pokedex and everything. So the yellow text is it recycling items that I don't want because as I unchecked a bunch, um, so it's getting rid of those. And now, the green is just saying the next Pokestops. Um, right there, next Pokestop. And then found one catchable Pokemon. So it just caught a Poliwag. Just caught a Magikarp transferred Magikarp, next Pokestop, so this this is just all the um, the stats of basically what it's doing so now what I do I just minimize these two windows while I'm doing whatever if I'm going out and then I just leave this running on my computer so here the um, dark yellow is your egg information so now over here you have your list of Pokemon I have an error right here but this is usually a picture of the Pokemon so now you can change the name, so alphabetical order, um, reverse alf alphabetical, CP, lowest, highest. So here's all my highest Pokemon, and this is just from doing nothing. I'm not entirely sure if I caught that Gyarados or we actually evolved it. So yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. So now um, sometimes, it will, since I don't have Zubats and Pidgeys enabled, it will say found one Pokemon, one catchable Pokemon, and then it will say ignored, and then the name of the Pokemon, just because I don't want Zubats. So, uh, again, up here, it has the um, all these different stats. Their height, weight, HP, their attack, their special attack, all this cool stuff. And then, actually, the cool thing is, is you can click on the Pokemon, and then you can full power up, you can power up, and you can transfer and evolve. And then you can also just refresh the page to see what Pokemon you've caught. And so I actually have this reload every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds this is running, it will reload. So there, um, skipped Pokemon Zubat right there, just so you know what that looks like. And then occasionally you will get a soft ban. Earlier today I got banned like four or five times, and it will be red text so I might just wait until that happens alright so we haven't got banned yet but we um we caught a bunch of Pokemon here so as you see this hack works wonders um, so basically if you do get banned it will auto unban you but if that's taking too long you can just click force unban here and you will be unbanned so now it's just refreshing the page here so yeah there we go, that's basically how to use this hack, get infinite items because it goes to Pokestop. No, we just got a Dratini. That's cool. So yeah, that's basically it for this video guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you, and goodbye.